Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I feel like such a YouTuber saying that. Today's a little bit different of a video. I'm gonna be reacting to my first ever YouTube videos and even videos before that that you can't find anywhere on the internet. And there's a reason for that, so be prepared. <laughs> I've been making videos ever since I was eight years old. So we're gonna start there and work our way all the way up to where I am now. And yes, I'm sitting on the floor because I still don't have furniture, guys. This is, this is a problem now. Some people call the younger version of themselves iPad kids, but I would call myself an HP Pavilion G62248CA kit. This was the laptop I grew up on, and this was the way I was introduced to the internet as well as video. So I would get that laptop, go to some remote part of the house, open up the webcam, and record videos like this. You know what's funny that I still remember about making these videos? You were able to draw on the screen and add like little logos and stuff, right? I remember one of the first times I ever did that. It made me so excited and it's the same kind of feeling when I make a video today. So that's how I know I'm meant to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> 75 degrees and low clouds and it has been no clouds today. I think that video fairly represents a big era of my life. Probably, I would say, 8 to 12 years old where I would just record videos on the camera. I would do news reports, random stuff. I would just carry that thing around like a camera. But then I discovered LEGO Stop Motion Animation. If you've never made a stop motion Lego animation, you haven't even lived life yet. So by this time, I had figured out I really like making videos and my family noticed this as well. I would spend so much time on that little black computer, but I think a big turning point in my video career is when my older brother got a smartphone for the first time. The cinematics are beautiful. This is a work of art. I also would finesse my little brother into being the actor for most of the videos we would make on this phone. So dramatic, man. This is why I didn't go into acting, guys. <laughs> This video is so chaotic and random, but I still remember how much fun they were to create. Most of you guys watching this know I make tech videos. So when I was around 14 years old is when my interest in tech merged with my passion for creating videos. And this is when I created my first ever tech video. But my older brother had just bought this small gadget called the light phone, which is supposed to be like a minimalist phone. So I, at 14 years old, thought this was super cool and wanted to film the unboxing video of it. This was my first ever YouTube tech video. From this point on is where I'm gonna cringe the hardest. Okay, so we have the light. Two phone. The light. I had the animation. And let's pull off this, uh, this plastic here. The copyright free music. Oh. I would give this phone a four star rating. It works fine for someone who just wants to have the ability to call and text. So I remember posting this video and it got like 2,000 views and that was a ton back then for me. That made me super excited, but then right around this time, YouTube launched a special feature called YouTube Shorts. Now, believe it or not, I never got a phone until I was around 16 years old, so I didn't have access to Instagram or TikTok. The only short form platform I knew about was YouTube Shorts. So when I started seeing other tech creators create YouTube Shorts, naturally, I wanted to get in on the action as well. And that's when I created my first YouTube Short. Now this is gonna be hard for me to watch. I found the most ridiculous cases you can buy. This phone case has a super realistic hand attached to the back. It is made to keep people company if they're away from their loved one. But who would actually walk around with this on? I wouldn't. I with over 6,000 brilliantly cut diamonds. The Apple logo on this case is made from a solid 51 karat diamond. And with this, you, you wouldn't really have a phone with a case. You'd have a case with a phone. Subscribe for more content. So when I posted that video, it kind of tanked. So I kind of put off making videos for a while. I was working at Subway, raking in that bread, and making the bread, literally. The Subway I worked at was inside of a Walmart. And one day I got up of work at Subway, went to the clearance section, and saw this really interesting piece of tech that I just had to make a video about. So as soon as I got home, I filmed the video, posted it to TikTok for the first time, and this is when I got my first viral video. I was walking through the electronics aisle at Walmart when I came across something hilarious. Now I found these earbuds... <coughs> earbud on the bottom shelf of the clearance section and they immediately caught my eye because the package only contained one earbud selling for five dollars and inside the box we have the earbud with its charging case we also have a usb cable and an unusually detailed user manual and as you would expect the build and sound quality of this earbud is awful but still i would never forget the day so i posted this video on a school night i completely forgot about it i went to school opened up my laptop went to tiktok.com because i didn't have a phone yet and the video had seventy thousand views and that shocked me but it 
didn't stop there. Over the next few days, it kept growing. It hit a million views. It hit 2 million views. It didn't stop until around 3.3 million views, which absolutely rocked my world as a 14 year old. And this was the spark that motivated me to keep on making videos. We've all felt the disappointment of going to McDonald's, but finding out the ice cream machine is broken. Well, I have your solution. There's a website called McBroken.com that can tell you which McDonald's have working ice cream machines and which don't. It does this by placing an online order for ice cream at every McDonald's. Now, when I say I got my first viral videos, those were viral on TikTok. On YouTube, they were getting like one, 2,000 views until this video. This is what the 2022 iPhone 14 could actually look like. No camera bump, no notch, thinner bezels, USB-C charging, and maybe even Touch ID in the power button. Whatever changes Apple makes to the iPhone, one thing is for certain. It's gonna be pretty cool. That video did do really well. It got like 40,000 views in the first day. It kept going, and I think it hit over a million views on YouTube which is crazy. And a theme you might notice with all those videos that I started posting to YouTube was that I wasn't showing my face. And so I figured maybe if I show my face, I'll get more views. Alexa told a child to do a potentially lethal challenge. <laughs> what a hook. Kristen Livedell tweeted that her 10 year old asked Alexa, tell me a challenge to do. And Alexa replied by saying, here's something I found on the web. The challenge is simple. Plug in a phone charger about oh, halfway into a wall outlet, then touch a penny to the exposed prong. But that video also did really well on YouTube Shorts, and then I just didn't stop. I started making videos in my bedroom, and this is when I stumbled upon the viral series, the beloved Dollar Tree series. This is part two of testing Dollar Tree tech products. In the last video, I tested fake AirPods from Dollar Tree, and they were pretty bad. Next up is this Dollar Tree gaming mouse, and I think I got scammed because I paid $5 for it at Dollar Tree. Let's open this up. I don't have patience for this. This is so funny. Well, the design itself is kind of cool, but now this I would say was my first really, really viral video on YouTube. This video is sitting at around 11 million views as of today and gained me over 22,000 subscribers alone, which is insane. And just after putting in the reps of making videos ever since I was eight years old, I just improved a little by little. And that's really, if you want to make videos, that's how you should do it. Just start making videos and know that the first 100, 200 videos that you'll ever make will be pretty trash, but then you'll finally improve. But now that leads us to today where I'm making videos about tech, for a full-time job, I dropped out of college, which is insane. Like this morning, I bought the Apple Vision Pro. That's crazy. Like how am I able to, I never thought I was gonna be able to do that just two years ago. So I guess the moral of the story is that hard work can literally take you anywhere. If you just keep improving little by little, you will be successful. So for those of you who are watching who want to make videos, I hope looking at my story and seeing how bad I was at the beginning and to where I am now will be a little bit of encouragement to never give up and just always keep trying and getting better. I know this is a little bit different of a video. This wasn't technically a vlog, but I guess this counts. If you guys are new here, this is video number three of my weekly vlogging series on YouTube. I'm going to be vlogging for the rest of 2024. So if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and also click this video. This video is really cool. I don't know what this video is, but I know YouTube thinks you're going to like it. So you should probably click it.